purpose of this video today is educating, helping, keeping you informed with picking the proper, proper color to grout your sautillos. When you go to the stores, they give you little plastic things and little pieces of paper cut with on it with the names of all this fancy shit. And it doesn't look nothing like it's supposed to when you actually put it down. So the purpose of this is to show you what it looks like grouted, dried, so you could get a good idea. What I do is I just take some tiles that we're not going to use on a job. They got dog paws and imperfections and they're all just really crooked. So what I'm going to do is I just dry set them like this and then I've made multiple colors of grout and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show my customer what linen looks like, tobacco brown, natural gray, these are all by Customs Poly Blend, you could get this at Home Depot. Um, there's other brands out there but I think Home Depot's pretty much got everything sewed up as far as just easy to get. So I think all grout's pretty much the same. You could, it says to add water. You could add additives and certain things in it to make it a little bit stronger. Usually I do when we actually grout a whole floor. But because I'm just doing a sample here, I just used regular water. So what I'm gonna do is I'll start with the gray here. And then we'll just kind of grout right here. And we'll, we'll put the gray in. Things to consider when you're doing saltillos. Um, while you are grouting is even though I got these tiles all flushed down, this tile right here is obviously it's sitting up a little bit higher because it's warped and a little fatter. So when you actually grout on the floor like this and you got these things here, uh, and I'm doing it with my hand too, just to usually I use a float, but I'm just kind of just doing it by this real quick. So you can see I put in the gray here. This is natural gray. Like I said, this is probably the most common color of every job we do. It's this gray color here. Um, this isn't a grouting exercise or anything like that so right now it's really strictly just trying to show the customer you know exactly what's a good color that she's going to want to use so it's not designed to grout but because we're grouting i'll kind of show my skills here i could grout really good you know i think grouting is an art especially if you're a dyi -er. so you can see right now what i'm doing is you really don't want to apply very much pressure at all so that's a rough wipe. So usually what you do is you want to let it set up for like 10 minutes. So usually what I'll do is I'll just get it to where it basically looks like a grout line. Then I'll let that dry for a few minutes. When I come over here and kind of mess with these. So here's tobacco. Let's go ahead and do the tobacco here. You can see it automatically give it a different color. If you start looking at the gray compared to the brown here, you can see the brown is really uh, brown. So same thing, I'm just going to kind of smush it in here. And once again, this is just a sample to show the customer so they can have a visual. In my many my years of doing this, I just learned that the customer, I show them that little piece of paper and they always say, it doesn't look like the piece of paper or the little plastic thing you gave me. So I learned to actually do this. So this is a little trick, contractors, DIYers, whoever. This is a good trick to kind of help you decide, you know, exactly you know, what's a good color for your decor? I mean, your paint job? I mean, are you putting in dark wood, light wood? Are you going with light gray colors? So you really want to keep in consideration of what, you know, your house is going to look like. So it's really, you know, I just find out every customer I have is so different that I let them decide what they want. I just kind of put my input and then kind of just shut up. I just find most of the time my customers know exactly what they want. They're not like... You know, it's just my job to kind of facilitate the grout color. So it's just little things you learn though, cause you know, once you start grout and this stuff dries, you can't take it out. So here's, this is sandstone. So you can even see, or excuse me, I'm sorry, linen. And you can see this already immediately gives it a different, you can already see the color this puts on it. It just immediately gives it a whole different appearance there. So. Little helpful hints while you're grouting. You know, you don't have to be, it's not science here. The first wipes and all that stuff don't have to be perfect. Remember, the first wipes are just kind of to get it to a point where you've got it shaped like a grout joint. It doesn't have to be perfect. Everybody wants to be perfect on the first grout joint. And I do all these jobs all the time and these grout joints like look like little valleys. That's because you wiped it out too early before it was fully dry. So as you can see how I left the gray and I left the brown alone for a minute. And now they're starting to set up a little bit. And when I get to a point, I'll go back and wipe them 
when they're a little bit firmer and a little stiffer and then I can manipulate it and get it real perfect the way I like. You can see you want to wipe uphill and then you want to wipe downhill in some areas. You know, like if this tire's higher than this tile, wipe up the hill. It's a little trick. And it also, you know, because these tiles are perfectly imperfect, by wiping uphill, you can actually create the illusion that there's really not much lippage there at all. But in actuality, from here to here, it probably may jump up like a you know a quarter inch or so. But if you grout it right, you really can't tell. And it'll also keep it like, say, people are walking across the floor. It'll keep it so it's less of a trip hazard because that's another common thing that happens with these things. Like when you DYIers, you put them in and you can't get them level right. So you'll have it all crooked like this. Like, see this tile? These tiles are really bad. That's why I chose them. They're extremely crooked. That's why I chose this one. See how it's like literally, wee! But if you look, I've been wiping upward, and that's going to give us the effect that, okay, the grout's going up, and it kind of gives it the appearance that there's not much lippage there. Now, I've seen some jerk-offs and idiots come in here and sand the edge down. You know, I'm not a fan of sanding these type of tiles just because you mess with the integrity of them. And what happens is once you sand it, you know, these things are like French bread. They're hard on the surface and they're soft clay in the middle, kind of like how French bread is. Um, so what happens is when you break through the crusty French bread, you know, the surface there, you have the soft dough and it just looks different. So when you seal these things, this area where you sand it's going to be real dark and everything. So it just, it just looks different. It doesn't look supernatural. I know a lot of these clowns have been sanding these things since the beginning of time. I just, with technology and chemicals and things we got nowadays, you could just... You know, you just don't have to sand them. So anyway, so you can see I got these three grouts in here. These are probably probably three of the more common colors that I come across. So I think there's a sandstone by this company, which is real similar to this linen color here. Um, I've seen people use red. I don't know why it looked kind of weird, but it, you know, like I said, everybody has their own taste and preference. These are stained sautillos. We made the custom made this color for our customer. Normally they're a little bit more pink or a little bit more yellow. So same thing. This color looks really good when they're real pink and yellow. Um, natural gray is these are probably two of the more common ones. And then when people go Spanish oak, like the Hershey color, they go with the darker color. Sometimes they have a, they go here with this chocolatey more. I believe they get tobacco brown. So yeah, the tobacco brown color. Um, so we're gonna let this dry overnight. And that way we can see it dry because right now it's obviously saturated. So when we come and look at it, um, you'll really get a real, real idea, you know, which is the best color to go with. So if you have any comments or if you like one color over the other, or if you think there's another color option out there you know about that you thought would look awesome with these, I'm definitely down to try it. And I'd like to give my customers as many options as I can. So you should subscribe if you like us. Uh, give us the old thumbs up. Once again, if you have any questions, please feel free to chime in. We want your input. We need your knowledge. You guys always tell us what's popping and what's, you know, what the customers want. You guys always tell me, so that's how I know what to, to provide the customers. Thanks.